today, we're getting a behind the scenes tour of Kelvin Cooperage, a family run business established in 1963 in Scotland that since 1991 now calls Louisville, Kentucky home. We're going to take you inside and show you how their team produces barrels using time-tested traditional cooperage techniques for some of the top craft distilleries around the world. It starts with sourcing the finest American white oak from all over the U.S. The necessary wood to produce a barrel is delivered to Kelvin Cooperage, cut to length, but varies in widths. The wood is left outside to be air seasoned for a minimum of six months and a maximum of 36 months allowing the tannins to be leached out of the wood. In Kentucky's natural climate, the wood's moisture content is about 16%. The ideal moisture content is about 12 to 13% for barrel production. So the boards are loaded into a kiln to equalize and reduce the moisture content in the wood. After the kiln, the wood is run through three different machines that sand, join, and plane it before it's ready to be built into a barrel. During that process, the wood is also sorted into heads, staves, and scraps based on the quality of the boards. To create the barrel heads, holes are bored into the staves wood and dowels are inserted. From there, the wood is stacked and pressed together. The edges get beveled, so later the head fits into the crows of the finished barrel. The heads will be charred separately over an oak fire that is fed by the scraps from the production process. The staves, which make up the sides of the barrel, are also sanded, jointed, and planed. The staves are then organized like a puzzle with temporary hoops that hold the staves in place. The barrel is sent through a steam tunnel that makes the wood pliable so the staves can be bent. The barrel is then shaped and more hoops are added to help hold its form. Now the barrel is ready to be slow toasted at a low heat over a natural oak fire. The scraps from the production process are used to stoke the fires so nothing is wasted. The barrels are toasted for about 15 to 20 minutes, allowing the sugars to caramelize deeper into the wood. Then more wood is added to intensify the fire and ignite the barrel to create the desired char. This only takes another 60 to 75 seconds, depending on the customer's char level. Kelvin Cooperage's highly experienced coopers don't use gauges or timers. They use years of experience to know when the barrel is ready by using their sight and smell. Once the fire inside the barrel is extinguished and the char cools, the barrel hoops are tightened again. And then the crows, or lip, is cut into the barrel for the head to be set into. The heads are then added and pressed securely into the crows of the barrel. Next, a bunghole is cut into the barrel either in the bilge or the head, depending on the customer's racking style. The barrel then gets pressure tested for quality control. A gallon of warm water is added to the barrel and then it's pressurized to 25 PSI and checked for leaking or defects. The bung hole is cauterized using a hot cone that tapers the hole and chars the oak. This is done to make sure that any spirits in the barrel will always be touching charred oak. A bung is added to seal the hole. From there, the barrels go through a final sanding before being loaded onto trucks to be delivered around the world, where they will be filled with delicious spirits that the barrels will slowly impart flavor to for your imbibing pleasure. To learn more about Kelvin Cooperage, visit kelvincooperage.com. And to learn more about spirits and their production process, visit beverage.co. Beverage, find spirits fit for you.